Welcome. This is Robert Arthur on this training today. This is the Foundation Training 101. This learning the skills and mindset necessary to ignite your business. Who wants to ignite your business? <laughs> we do, we do. Hopefully you're chiming in here on this. Uh, uh, ready to get your business on fire here. So this is module one of six. This will be a revolving uh, training curriculum uh, that we're launching here in the new year in 2014. So uh, again, I'm Robert Arthur joining you from Granbury, Texas. Uh, I'm also joined by uh, Miss Two Star Golden Circle dynamic business partner, uh, Miss Bethany Krauss. Bethany, where are you hailing from today? Hailing from Princeville, Hawaii. Yeah, I can, Roy and I can attest personally, it's a beautiful paradise on earth. So we want to welcome you. And again, the VIP is each and every one of you. So thank you, thank you. So, so Bethany, today we're going to cover, you know, three main topics today on this training. And, you know, we want to keep it succinct and simple. Uh, I love the quote from our, our number one income earner. It's not, not an easy business, but it is definitely a simple business. So, Bethany, we have the, uh, we're going to jump into this. We're going to jump into the six steps momentarily, also the power of the million dollar list, and then we're going to share some really fun uh, anecdotes and some fun nuggets and tips around how do we invite people, how do we attract people into your business. So, so are you excited about the three steps, Bethany? I sure am. All right. So here we go. So, you know... Bethany, have you found that the people who try to do this alone, do they really make it in the business? No, this is definitely team oriented, Robert. So if you're doing this alone, you're doing it wrong, guys. Mm, amen to that. So we have what's called entrepreneurs who succeed, and then we have solopreneurs who fall flat. So definitely plug into your community, plug into your team. One of my favorite stories, just to cover... We like to cover each on each module that we're going to be going through these next six weeks. We like to cover the attitude or the the success mindset. And just real quickly here, one of my favorite all time stories. It's it's a it's a real story. It's based on a a farmer over in South Africa, and he has this beautiful acreage, several hundred acre plantation in South Africa, and he is has a number of children. He has a happy marriage, happy family life is is good he's very blessed and about that time uh actually hundreds of miles away from him uh people begin to discover in different parts of, of the south africa continent some incredible uh, uh holdings and discoveries of diamond fields i mean talking about people are, are creating their wealth by finding these uh uncovering diamonds and he all he can think about is that he knows he has a beautiful home and a beautiful farm, but all he can think about is he has to go in search of his wealth because he, he just knows in his heart he does not have it with his farm. He knows he can really break through. So he, he goes out, he travels, and he's just he discovers some small things, but nothing really to give him wealth. And, and he ends up being gone for a number of years. And after years and years of struggle, he ends up being, he's kind of broke. He's broke, broke down physically, broke down mentally. He's a defeated man. And he comes back, you know, to his farm and he finds his farm and his family in disarray. And his, his you know, his workers have left, his family is barely hanging on. And, but he has some, he had, he had some resources from his years of travel. So he puts it into his farm. He invests, you know, in, in his equipment. He, and one day he's in the field plowing and he hits something very hard. It actually breaks one of his discs on his plow. He, and he kind of, he's very upset, very angry. He hops off the tractor, runs over there. He realizes it's a big rock. And he, he doesn't throw it away because he wants to take it out of the field. But he puts it in his tractor. He finishes his day's work. And he puts the rock as a doorstop. And this doorstop has, hangs out by his, his door to his farm for a number of years. All, all, all the kids are getting up in years, about to leave home. And one day, there's a geologist, it's a geologist that stops by his farm and notices the uh, the doorstop. And he says, you mind if I look at this? And he, he grabs it, he kind of scrapes it a little bit, and he realizes 
that what he has in his hands is a, a huge, one of the biggest diamonds that he's ever even remotely even heard of. And he takes it into, into his, uh, you know, his lab and, he, and he, he researches it, looks at it with a microscope. And what he discovered is this is the largest you know, uncut, the largest raw diamond ever discovered in history. He comes back to the farm and the farmer begins to dig around a little bit in different parts of his property. And he realizes he is sitting literally on one of the largest diamond fields or mines ever discovered on the planet, much less in Africa. And the moral of the story is Bethany to, and I today are going to show you, give you some tips and insights. And we're going to hopefully um, just bring home to you that your diamonds are, you already know where your diamonds are. They're in your backyard. They're on your, in your Facebook communities. They're actually literally in that little device that you hold in your hand when you make your next phone call. So all we're saying is that your, your, your diamonds are through your current relationships of people that you know are people that they know. So I just love that beautiful little story, and it's based on a real-life story about a gentleman who literally almost went totally, totally broke and almost became, you know, very, very ill because he thought that his his fortune was everywhere but his backyard. So, Bethan, any comments on that little story? Beautiful story, Robert. Thanks so much for sharing. And, yeah, I think mindset is everything, guys. And I mm. think a lot of you on this line already know. Amen. How about some comments on this slide here, Bethany? Let's see. Energy, passion, and timing. And this is the first time that I am seeing this slide, just so you all know, so I have to read it along with you. <laughs> um, I had a little technical difficulties getting online this morning. Um, ignorance on fire is 100 times more effective than knowledge on ice. Share your story briefly. And with passion, then plug into the tools. It's all about timing. People in the looking zone. It's definitely about timing, guys. Um, with just everything that you do. I know, Bethany. Has there been people that you actually, you know, you met or you spoke with either six months ago, two years ago, that have now come full circle? They're now in your business. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Yeah, one of um one of them just went crystal manager last night, Miss Heather Willette. She uh I've been telling her about isogenics for about three years. She came on board, she's lost fifty pounds since she started in August. And um she's building a dynamic team. It's amazing. Mm, it's amazing. I know one of my superstars that I mentioned earlier, my cousin Lori, very su highly successful in another company as well. And here we are four years after my first kind of reaching out to visit with her. And now mm -hmm. here she's coming full circle. So, you know, this story happens over and over again. And, you know, again, as we talked about before, it truly is plugging into your team and, and plugging the community. So now let me kind of show you some of the mechanics of, of what is crucial in building your business. I know Bethany and I, we actually mentor, we're mentees of an incredible coach. His name is PK Smith. And he has worked with more millionaires and top leaders than anyone else in this company of ours in Isogenics. And we've learned from him some of the keys to duplicating ourselves. And we want to share with you these six little steps. Hopefully you're taking notes. If not, you can pause. If you're on this recording, you can pause it and rewind it. If you're on this webinar live, just know that this will be archived, but hopefully you're, catch you're keeping up with this. So Bethy and I are going to go back and forth on these six steps and to share with you some really just um, real life examples of what each of these steps mean. So uh, the first one here is I do your watch as we, you watch. As we already mentioned, if you're, if you're doing it alone, you're doing it wrong. And what we mean by this is you know, as you come out of the gates and you're brand new, you don't, in, in your mind, you may be thinking, I don't have even near the answers I need to answer all these questions, concerns, objections that'll be flying at me. So here's the simplest and most effective way to put your mind at ease. And that is when you, in a moment, we're going to show you how to generate people coming to you from Facebook, as well as your million dollar list when you make those calls. 
but don't do it alone. The point is, if I was just put a Facebook post up, which we're about to show you the exact post, and my, I may had anywhere from three to even 20 people reaching out, I would text maybe three or four of my upline partners and say, help, guys, people are interested, people are ready to look, who can help me make these first few calls? It could be that simple. Any comments on that, Bethany? That's just so true. I just, I want everyone to know that we are here to help um, your sponsors, your upline, your sidelines, your team, whoever it is on your team that you're working with, allow them to help you. And then do it, get it, get into so action. I do, you watch. Yeah. Yep. How about number two, Bethany? I do, you help. Um, so this is, you know, just a matter of I may, and I do this a lot when I'm doing three-way calls for people, I may, you know, share something with the person I'm presenting to and then ask the person that brought them to the call to share their experience with that particular product um, where I'll ask them to actually step in. So you may all hear that when it's I do, you watch, we put the duct tape on our mouth. But when I do, you help, that's when we're asking your, your opinion to kind of bring it in and make that credibility of, your experience with the products. Yeah, amen. And, and, and then in step three is then that new person, say, say Bethany, you were my new person. I, I may make your, make your first three or four calls. I was leading the conversation and then maybe call number four or five. You know, I'm doing those calls and then you're, you're stepping in there and sharing the story, taking, answering some of the questions alongside me. And then and then you make those calls. And if you, if you need help or direction okay. or tweaking, then I step in alongside of you. And Another example of that, Robert, that I've been using with my team recently is, you know, they may get me on the phone, introduce me to the person, you know, I ask about their needs, I kind of start the call, get them going in the right direction, you know, answer questions. And then once we figure out, okay, this is the best pack for them, or here's a couple of different pack options that are good for them, I'll then say, okay, now Lori's going to show you some different pack options at this point. Um, it's a pleasure meeting you. I look forward to welcoming you to the team. So that's step number three. You're going to do it, and I'm going to help. Each, and you see each step along the way, it's, it's a partnership, guys. And the nugget here is work with mm -hmm. us that work. Uh, remember, we cannot do it far than if we do. One of my associates called, you can drag somebody across the finish line, but uh, you may cross the finish line with them, but they're still laying on the ground. <laughs> All right, so step number four is you do, I watch. So Bethany, you know, the essence of our business is developing and nurturing leaders, isn't it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, and really, as soon as you're making these calls, whether, no matter who's leading the call, whether it's your sponsor or you, uh, for those listening to this, is that you are leading. So, And one thing, as you even share it with a couple of your brand new friends, again, you always, always, always focus on what they're doing right. And when you even call your upline for tweaking or you know things that you want to become even better at, always focus on what's working and then you can tweak that or tweak this uh, so uh, for all the um, leaders on the line just be very aware of that so you want to uplift and edify constantly as your people get in motion bethany how about step number five just one more comment about step number four robert is this could also be a matter of you know like a launch party for example um, i'm doing a skype launch party with uh, heather and dana on thursday night I'm planning on being on Skype. They're going to do the launch party, and I'm going to watch. Oh, fun. And then, you know, I can help them from there. Um, step number five, you do report back to me. So uh, I've got a lot of leaders, you know, on this step right now where they're, you know, doing it on their own and letting me know how it's going. Yeah, and it isn't really fun as they check in with you. You know, you check in either a quick text or a quick Facebook message or email. And it really holds them accountable, plus even holds you accountable. But it gives them, again, it gives us ability to always constantly you keep edifying and recognizing their, their action. Absolutely. Yes. Because, again, guys, the relationship that we have with our newbies, 
on that first four days, the first five days, the first week or two, that will make or break your entire uh, business relationship. Um, so you're connected, connected at the hip. And number six is that you do, someone else watches. And here is where the newbie, yourself on this, on this call right now, on this webinar, um, or the veteran, that's when you're, you know, you're have duplicated yourself. You have worked with your newbie. Uh, you know, you, you you've edified what's right, what's working every step of the way they have, maybe they're a consultant or a new crystal manager. And then, you know, they're in motion, they turn around now and then they have their two or more mentees. So then they repeat the process and they go right back to, I do you watch, I do you help you do I help, and then people watch you, you do report back to me, and then someone else watches. So again, you see the nugget there at the bottom of the screen. This is a huge piece, if you really get this, is that you know this is truly a training and mentoring business. Yes, yes, we also want to be you know recruiting and enrolling at a high level, especially coming out of the gates on your executive run. And just know that the, the, the key is to balance your training and mentoring with those that work, with your recruiting and rank advancing. Any comments, uh, Bethany, on those six steps? No, I love it, guys. Just make notes of that and keep it in mind. Mm, amen. All right, so, you know, there's one thing we call the million dollar list. And the reason we call it the million dollar list because you have in your phone, and it could be a Christmas card list, could be a recent high school graduation list, could be an anniversary, uh, could be a baby shower, whatever it is. It's, it's to pee, anybody that you or even your family or your spouse or your kids, anybody that knows you or has some level of relationship or trust with you are a, someone that you're in a relationship with. And it could be on Facebook, could be through your work environment, through your social life, your sports, any number of things. Bethany, haven't you found that when we, when we go after and we focus on talking to, quote, strangers uh, it's a much it's a much you it's a it's an incredibly larger numbers game maybe you talk to 50 strangers and maybe two end up you know coming on board whether you talk if you talk to 20 or, you know 10 people in your warm market people that you know maybe three sign up so any comments around the power mm -hmm. of the list um, just make sure you have that list going on a regular basis. Just keep adding to it and adding to it and adding to it as people pop up in your minds. Carry that list with you and just add to it, whether you have it in your phone or whether it's a piece of paper, just add to the list. And, you know, people that I look for to add to my list, um, you know, if you're looking at people that you know, think about people that have their own contacts, you know, that have a large circle of influence, people that have credibility and the people that have a good work ethic. A, a big desire. So um, those are the type of people in your warm market that you're really thinking about approaching and sharing this with. Exactly. In a moment, we're going to give you a little call to action. And it's once you have your list and you go back and circle your top 10, that the 10 most, as Bethany said, most positive, most, most successful, you know, just, you know, they're outgoing. And then we're going to show you how, how you can simply invite them to look. So guys, there's also a, what's called a memory jogger. And Memory Jogger is available on any of our resources, isgenixbusiness.com, under the success team, blog.com, you can find, and it just kind of jars your memory. Who is your, you know, salon, who is your hairdresser, who is your massage therapist, who is your mechanic, you know, down the list. And it really helps you, you know, create that million dollar list. It's, uh, we can't say enough about that. And speaking of your list, and then once you have people, and again, I'm going to jump ahead for one second here, Bethany. Um, I want to show you the Facebook. So you have your list in your phone uh, or even other resources as well. And we're also going to show you that there's some very simple posts. Let's, Bethany, say that you sign up today. Let me ask you a question, Bethany. Do you have to wait till you get your package and even get results before you can start enrolling other people? Absolutely not. You're going to use somebody else's story. And um, that is the key to really running out of the gate and to hitting all those crystal bonuses. Mm. So I can borrow someone else's story. So how do I do that? 
Well, here's a perfect example. Um, I would borrow, let's just say I'm going to borrow Heather's story, okay? After watching my friend Heather release 50 pounds in 100 days and having so much more energy using this amazing superfood system, I decided it was time for me to experience similar results. I'm so tired of feeling tired. I'm sick of tired of feeling sick and tired. <laughs> I'm so excited to get started and get my body back. My system hasn't even arrived yet, and I'd love to have some of my good friends join me on this journey so we can hold each other accountable and get the healthiest we've ever been together. Who's up for looking and feeling their best? Mm. So this is a great post, guys, um, that has been put together by um, Zach and Eden Slobin, and mm -hmm. They share this with everyone on their team, and they have people going consultant before they even get their packs. They have people going manager within the first week of using their products. So just imagine how much more quickly you can share this gift of health with people and how you can help your friends rank advance. I agree totally. And again, you can you can borrow any number of stories. If this was me and Joy, Joy and I, I would say, you know, after watching my stepmom release 35 pounds and, you know, just feel incredible and also lost, you know, like 25 inches overall in just in just three months using an ama using this amazing superfood system. I decided it was time for me to experience similar results because I'm tired of feeling drawn out, uh, chronically sick all the time and underweight. I'm so excited to get started. Can't wait to get my body back. You know, my system hasn't even got here yet, but I love some of my good friends to join me on this journey. Who's up for looking and feeling their best? So again, it just gives you, it's a little template that you can make your own. I mean, it works. It's already working. Um, and then once your package gets in, and you only have to wait for that. That's that's your initial buzz about, say, your sponsor. And let's say your package is still like a, a day away. Bethany, could you, you could even share the next story. Woohoo, I just met another business partner. Her name is Bethany. She was an animal in the gym, She and she, but she's still shrunk her tummy she lost like you know eight or nine pounds find out from bethany what that was and she looks fantastic you know and bethany here's some fun examples of what some of the stories uh, as you continue to create the buzz haven't you seen the the people stepping up just ongoing every time the, the you know our people are posting their results mm -hmm. oh gosh when people create buzz like this and just keep in mind, everyone, do you notice that nowhere in the initial post or the buzz post, we're not using the word isogenic. So just keep that in mind. It's really important. And, you know, we can share with you some reasons why we're not, but we're creating curiosity. Um, but yes, Robert, when people post little things like this, they might get 20 to 30 comments of people saying, I'm interested, tell me more. And then what we're responding with is, I will send you a private message. Next thing you know, everyone in that thread is saying, I want a message too. Send me more information. Yep. And so, okay, so I, I jumped ahead because I wanted to show you another way to generate buzz instantly along with your list. Now let me back up a few slides. So now let me start. Bethany and I have been using the five-step phone. I've been using this little five-step outline, guys, for, oh my goodness, it's been almost 20 years now. Um, and when I first was introduced to this, I put it on the back of a little blank business card. I taped it to the back of my phone until it became, it's just a habit now. Whenever I call anybody on this line, if you call me and I call you back, I'm going to say, Hey, Bethany, you got a minute? That's my way. Um, or you could say, you know, is this a good time or is it a bad time? Should I call you back? So you always respect their time first and foremost. So Bethany, how about, how about the key behind? I always Go ahead. Sorry, I was just going to say, Robert, I always say, um, I let them know that I only have a few minutes. I, so I'll call and say, hey, Robert, I only have a few minutes. Um, do you have just a couple minutes real quick? Yeah, I do. Then they know that I am, yeah. I'm, I'm on, you know, I'm on a time crunch as well. Mm -hmm. I love and it. it. Help, you know, it helps them think, oh, yeah, okay, I only have a couple as well. Uh, yeah, so, so, what, so once again, you say I'm between appointments or I'm, I got a call coming up. Do you have a minute? So. I love that. That's good. Um, sounds good. So what's the power and why do we even have to even mention enthusiasm? Well, guys, you know, one of my, I forget who was sharing this, might have been Laurie or one of my other uh, business partners. 
they talked about when you look in the look in the mirror. It might have been uh, Terry Lynn in New Orleans. She said, "Look in the mirror and smile. Your smile comes across the phone." <laughs> Any comments on, you know, raising up your energy, Bethany, before you make that call? Yeah, it's so true. People can feel it when you're smiling when you're talking. Mm. Your energy is everything. So this enthusiasm to me, I use it as enthusiasm and energy. So I always think of the two E words. Mm, I love it. I love it. And I, I love enthusiasm because the Latin origin of enthusiasm is entheos, which is God within. And, you know, God made us in his image, guys. It's it, So we need to just honor that and step into that power and to the light. So that's why I love enthusiasm as well. So and then compliment, you know, think about this. If you who wants to know the numero uno, the most effective way to break the ice with anyone, anywhere, anytime. Well, it's it's right there on the screen. Compliment. Bethany, you look, you look sharp today. You know, Bethany, you just come back from the gym. You know, uh, uh, my goodness, Bethany, I, I heard you talking with uh, um, the lady over there. And I have to say, I was just impressed because you were really, you were genuinely interested in her. So Bethany, I, I'm in a business where, you know, uh, it can really reward you for really helping other people. Or Bethany, my goodness, you used to earn three businesses and I've admired you and Chris for so long. I have, I can't wait to run something by you. So Bethany, what, what's two or three examples of a compliment that you use all the time as well? Um. You know, I love the ones that you just chose. I, I love the one about the clothing store, you know, the lady that's really helping someone. I love that. Um, I love to use when I have a really good server at a restaurant oh, um, yeah. because I was a server for over 20 years. And so I love that where I say, gosh, you are so good at your job. You must make a lot of money. And they're like, oh, well, oh, you don't? Oh, my gosh. If you work in my company... You would do so well, that type of thing. Um, I love doing that with servers. Um, another one is, um, gosh, I had it on the tip of my tongue. Now I can't think of it. Um, oh, oh, just, you know, I really respect you as an entrepreneur, and your opinion means a lot to me. So I'd love to just, you know, see what you think about this. Mm, I love it. Yeah, you know, I, when you ask the question, guys, think about this one. Do do most people you know love to give you their opinion, <laughs> whether you want it or not? So when you actually ask them for their opinion and their feedback, people are all over that. So disclaimer, this is kind they of a, this kind of throws some people off sometimes. But disclaimer is simply kind of, if you will, kind of getting them off the hook. Or it's also tied to having a strong posture. When you have the posture of, you know, Bethany, you know, this may not be for you, definitely in for everybody. If if you sense from me that whether you are interested or join me or not, join I are going to change a bunch of lives and create our dream business. If that's what you sense from me, you'll kind of lean in. On the other hand, if you sense that I need you, Bethany Krauss, to spend your money out of your pocket to for me to make, make my next house note, if you sense that, you'll kind of draw back. Any comments around the disclaimer, Bethany? That's just, it's very true, Robert. You explained it well. People are, you know, looking for you to be inspiring. And, you know, I feel like when I share isogenics with excitement and I say, yeah, this is what I do. I love it. I'm helping people get healthy. I'm now able to live six months in Kauai and six months in Colorado. And they're like, wow, yeah, that does sound really nice. <laughs> so just share your excitement. Mm, amen. And then the objective we always talk about the whole point is to book the look, to book the look. And we're going to cover that in one of our next modules. And even the three-step recruiting system, we're going to cover that in one of the next modules that be next week. So we just want to kind of maybe tweak, peak your interest. And so make sure you tune back in for what comes after the phone, the five-step phone. And you probably realize Bethany was using an example. So was I. This doesn't have to apply to the phone, does it, Bethany? Like you, guys, we Absolutely use not. we use these five steps everywhere. All right, so yeah, I use them when I'm at the beach all the time. You know, I share my enthusiasm, I compliment them about something, you know, and then I use my disclaimer, and then I do my objective. And you know, the one thing is when I book my appointment, guys, this is really important. I always say there's a secret 
sixth step. Hmm. And that step is just reaffirming the appointment. So Robert, let's just give an example of that. So Robert and I, um, he's agreed to take a look, you know, at my information. We've booked a look and it's for Thursday at three. Okay. So Robert, I'll give you a call Thursday at three o'clock. Um, please be sure to be in front of your computer. Okay. Can you do that? Uh, yes, I can. Robert says yes. Okay, great. Um, and then not only that, Robert, if anything were to come up, if you could just let me know at your earliest convenience. Um, I know you've got a really busy schedule and I do as well. So I'd love to fill that spot, you know, with somebody else that, you know, is free at that time. So if something comes up, will you please let me know at your earliest convenience? You know, I can, because I, I realize this is, uh, yeah, both of us operate by appointment. So yeah, that'd be, that'd be fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. And that, that step is so important, you guys. Because I know we've all done it where we get on the phone and we're all excited and we've got our mentor on the line with us and we're getting ready to do a three-way call and that person doesn't answer. <laughs> it so happens. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's just a way to, you know, really reaffirm that because you're just putting it, you know, um, on their lap saying, hey, this, this is serious to me. It's not just a fake appointment. <laughs> you know, this is my business and I'm taking it seriously. Yeah. And, and just to, just to reassure you when this does happen to you, no matter how good you are at this, even Jimmy Smith or, you know, uh, Ellen Bradley, Kathy Hoover happens. People will still know, show you, let's be real. We're talking about human beings, but you can really dramatically increase the people, the, the percent of people showing up when you do that secret six step. So, 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 so Bethany, uh, again, Bethany, Thursday, three o'clock. So Bethany, uh, I really respect your time. Could you, could you also, I, I would just ask you just kind of, kind of a personal note. Could you respect my time as well? So please text me or call me if something gets in your way. Would, would you agree to that, Bethany? I love the way to say that, Robert. Yes, I agree okay. to that. That's awesome. Perfect. Thursday, three. And would you mind if I text you on Wednesday just to confirm our appointment? Would that be okay? That would be great. Okay. Yeah, that's a that's a really good thing to do as well, guys. You know, maybe an hour before, if I've got somebody, you know, booked, especially if I have um, one of my mentors that's going to be on the line with them, I definitely text them an hour or so before and just make sure, just check in that we're just, still on. Just check in. So, so guys, you've seen some fun Facebook posts that are proven. Those posts we showed you on Facebook earlier, that's not theory. Uh, those posts, when people uh, post it like that and, you know, use that template, it works, guys. And then we also are sharing with you some how to, how to master the telephone or how to be more effective at that on your way to mastery. And we've mentioned many, many times already, we keep made reference to this, that we, we use the three-week call, if you will, kind of a conference call. We use it all the time. We don't have time for an in-depth training here, but I would like to give you a couple of fun examples of how of some of the, here's a, a little three-step etiquette. And again, you can go as deep into this as you want, but this would hopefully help you understand the mechanics of how to more effectively do a three-week call. So, um, you know, Bethany, I, you know, I, I'm new at this and I had my friend to a mentor on the line. Her name is Ellen. You know, Ellen has coached a lot of people through this program, you know, Bethany. And Ellen, Ellen has stepped in beside me because I'm Joy and I are brand new to help me explain the program to you and to show you how it works. And, you know, if you ask some questions or concerns, Ellen will be right here. And, and, you know, Bethany, I know you mentioned that right now you have three businesses, but you would be open to maybe toning up and being more of an animal in the gym. So just so you know, Ellen has coached literally hundreds of people. Um, she was an athlete herself as well. And also Ellen is, has been involved with this business for now 10 years, Bethany. And, you know, she travels all over uh, North America as well as some, some globally, you know, supporting, coaching, and teaching people. She's a close business partner of mine. She's an incredible, gifted, heart-centered, you know, mentor. And Ellen, Bethany, then I would edify you, Bethany. And then I would say, Bethany, meet Ellen. And then part C, that's a big one. And Bethany's already mentioned the duct tape, but I, it's on the slide too. Bethany's probably chuckling, but then the keyword is respectively respect who you introduced, both people, and listen. Any comments? This is a quick little three-step etiquette, but uh, Bethany comments on this. Yeah, um, it definitely just makes the call 
go more, flow more. When you have three different people trying to talk, you can't really tell who's talking. They're talking over each other. So when we say respectfully listen, it really is best for your prospect, for, your, for the person you're trying to introduce to Isogenics. Um, if you do just listen, I know that so many times you want to share, oh, yeah, I like that, or I, I use that too, and that's great. And you can share that in another time when you're just talking with that particular person. But we will also include you in the conversation here and there. We'll ask you, oh, yeah, do you like the chocolates? You know, what do you think of the ionics in the morning? Do you drink it first thing in the morning? You know, little things like that. So we'll keep you part of the conversation. But I just say, try to keep the duct tape on unless you're called upon. <laughs> yes. So th these are <laughs> these are guidelines, and we're we're just trying to help you be more professional and even more effective when you do your uh, your three way calls. And there's so many examples of this. You know, hey Bethany, I was just visiting with a friend of mine who has coached a lot of people through the program. I told them about you. They're so excited to meet you. And then I would edify Ellen in this case, and I would edify Bethany, and then I would connect you guys. And again be quiet and then I will allow Ellen to do her job. Um, and you've already seen some of the Facebook examples, guys. And again, again, these are not theory. These work when you post them and then you create the buzz as you go through your journey and you begin still sharing other people's stories too. All right. And, you know, Bethany, I'm sure you've seen this too over and over again, especially on Facebook and different situations. You know, do we want to have a 10 minute story or do we want to keep it short and sweet? Short, sweet, and create curiosity. <laughs> Amen, sister. And again, see at the bottom, this I is I love that bottom part. Yeah. Yeah, this is That's a huge, 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 huge nugget. Beth and I are both kind of chiming in here together because because we're so passionate about it. Because some people hide behind the keyboard, don't they, Bethany? They do. They just keep sending messages and messages back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You know, one thing that I like to say um, is once you have the curiosity, guys, that let me just kind of fill in that little step there that we didn't really cover. Once you have the curiosity through your Facebook post and people want to learn more, all you simply do is send them a message and say, I am so excited that you asked. I love sharing this with people because I have so much more energy. I lost six pounds and six inches my first week. I would love to show it to you. When do you have 15 to 30 minutes where you can be on the phone in front of your computer? Here are some times I have available. And you give them a few different options. You don't just ask them, when are you free? When's a good time? You give them two to three options, and then they will choose an option. At that point, then you can present to them properly. Uh, if they yeah. then come back to you, Robert, and sometimes this happens, they say, well, what is it? Say, so, you know, honestly, I would be doing you a disservice if I just tried to tell you about it. I really need to show it to you. I love it. Yeah, amen. And and again, again one of the modules, it'll be, it'll be two weeks from today, or the, the, if you're listening to this recording, the next, the third module, we're going to be going more into the connecting experience. And we'll definitely, as Bethany said, you there's, there's, there's kind of an art also and a skill behind, you know, narrowing, getting those appointments set and then keeping your story short and sweet and then getting them on the line. And then you tie in, bring in your uh, upline. So again, the, the three-step process, again, we're covering that uh, on next, the next module. And But this is what it looks like. Connect and invite, set the appointment, use a tool, and then you enroll them on the spot or they need more education. So some of the upcoming, just to create some uh, interest and some buzz ourselves, we're going to be covering some of the, the follow-up process, how to connect with people around you, wherever you are, how to create your sizzle story, you know, how uh, in reality there's a never-ending, huge, you know, your opportunity to talk with people is endless, guys. It truly, truly is once you know where to find those people and how to effectively present using the tools. And the last module and this little six-week course will be on how do we duplicate ourselves. And... Here's your call to action. Uh, Bethany, you want to summarize the, uh, the first couple of call to actions there? Yep, absolutely. Um, so get out there and post something on Facebook and either use your story or borrow a story. Get with your leader, your mentor, and make sure before you post it that it looks good. You know, they might have some tips or advice. Make sure you're tagging your leader in it as well because in that way your leader will see 
all of the comments and can help you with them. Um, and then circle your top 10 people on your million dollar list. So we've already discussed, you know, these are people that have a big desire, people that are really personable, have a large circle of influence, good work ethic, have integrity. Most importantly, people that you want to partner with, people that you enjoy being around. And Robert has a good way of saying that, you know, a good way to figure out who a good business partner is, would you want them over to your house for dinner with your family? <laughs> so think about that. <laughs> would you want to go on a trip to St. Thomas with them? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then practice the five-step phone um, outline, phone formula, as well as doing it in person. So write down those five steps, memorize them, their time, enthusiasm, compliment, disclaimer, and objective. Write those down. Keep it written down. Post it on your wall in your office. Carry it with you in your purse. So you have that and study it and memorize it and practice it, practice and practice and practice. So then you're always doing the same thing. You're not fumbling. You're not saying too much. You're not, you know, just verbally vomiting all over them about everything about isogenics. You're simply booking the look. So you're using that formula to book the look. And then you're scheduling a three-way call to do the presentation. Um, I would like to say one more thing, Robert. I just want to give um, everybody that's listening um, a couple of the ways that they can find some of these things that we shared. Okay. Um, for example, successteamblog.com. You all have probably been there, but again, it's successteamblog.com. Under the archive training tab, you can find a 20-minute webinar that breaks down the five-step phone formula. And so it gives you all sorts of examples. We practice and we talk about that on that webinar. And then also, um, in that same spot under archive training, you can find the three-step system webinar. I think that's a 20 to 30 minute webinar um, where Robert and Sonia and I are sharing with you the five-step system, which is how to actually present once you book the look. So if you want to go a, a little bit ahead, if you get all your homework done this week before the next module, you know, you can start practicing that three-step system as well. And then, um, I think that's about it. So remember, we're looking for those who are looking for us. There's so many people out there praying for isogenics, guys, but they don't know what it is that they're praying for. They're praying for better health and, you know, to be financially free and to be able to have more freedom with their family. They just don't know that isogenics is out there. So it's up to you to share the gift and invite them to take a look. Mm, amen. And thanks for being on this training. So again, Today we covered the six steps. I mean, the six steps, it's really, it's all totally about duplicating ourselves. So please review those six steps and practice those. And then it truly is about going after people that already have a certain level of trust with, you know, inviting them. You simply, in inviting them, one of my favorite words is to notify your list, notify your, your circle of influence what you're doing, guys. And there's Bethany sitting on a palm tree in Kauai. That's not really Bethany, but it, uh, hey, it looks like Bethany. <laughs> and uh, it, it truly is about your, your, your how, how you go here is totally, totally in line with your, your mindset and your attitude. So Bethany, you want to read one of my favorite poems here? Go ahead. Absolutely. I hope my achievements in life shall be these. That I will have fought for what is right and fair. That I will have risked for that which mattered. That I will have given help to those who were in need. That I will have left the earth a better place for what I've done and who I've been. It's all about serving other people. Bethany, uh, Absolutely. thanks for being on this call with me. Thanks for being in my life and my business. So we're like family now. And guys, for those listening, well, thank you, Robert. Where you welcome? A closing thought, Bethany. Um, the biggest thing I want to just tell you all is this business is very simple. Like Jimmy Smith said, it's just simply about sharing from your heart. It's not about going out there and getting people or convincing people. It's about sharing your passion with others on how much you love these products, how much they've changed your life and the life of thousands of others. So just go out there and share it. And with Robert as our mentor and our leader, he's got these trainings that really help. So the more you plug in, the more you will learn. So I just suggest always plugging in to any 
anything that's available to you for personal development and learning how to do this business the easy way. Well said. Guys, we, we love you. Thanks for being in our lives and our business. And let's go change some lives across this planet. So uh, we will see you on the next call that we do. The next, uh, also the next Foundation 101. Can't wait to share that with you next week. Right here, same bat time, same location. If you're on this recording, be the next module for, with Bethany and I. So again, let's keep changing lives. Thank you. God bless. Thank you, everyone.